Scientific articles. Sounds dry, right? The reality is we need them. So stick with me because understanding these is crucial for staying ahead in the clear line your game and we're going to make it both fun and easy. Welcome Clear Aligner enthusiasts to the very first episode of our monthly article review series brought to you by the Clear Institute. I'm Dr. Stefan Reinhardt, director of the education program. And today we're diving into the fascinating world of scientific articles. And stay till the end because there's something special you won't want to miss. In fact, there's two things. Okay, first, Let's explore the different types of scientific articles you might encounter. Let's kick things off with case reports. Now think of these as the intriguing, intrig, intriguing, how to pronounce intriguing, 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 intriguing stories of the dental world. A case report details a single patient's journey through diagnosis and treatment. They're like real life episodes of dental mysteries captivating but remember they are anecdotal the problems with case reports is you have to take them for what they are it's like when you go see a lecture and the speaker shows you something out of the ordinary i mean it can happen it happens to all of us we all have incredible cases with incredible results the thing is can you repeat the same thing 50 times in a row now don't get me wrong case reports are interesting and we might choose to cover or review some of them here from from time to time but again take them for what they are now next we have systematic reviews these are the heavyweights of scientific literature a systematic review meticulously gathers all relevant studies on a specific topic and critically analyzes them. Now imagine going uh, on a deep dive on Google, but with way more rigor and structure. They give you a comprehensive overview, saving you from drowning in a sea of studies. Now hand in hand, with systematic reviews is meta-analysis. This is where the magic happens. By, stati by, statisti <laughs> by statistically combining data from multiple studies, a meta-analysis provides a clearer, clearer picture of overall trends and outcomes. It's like blending a smoothie with all the best fruits you get a powerful mix of data. Now imagine you're researching the effectiveness of clear aligners for treating class two malocclusions. A systematic review would summarize all relevant studies while a meta-analysis would combine their data to give you a precise estimate of overall effectiveness. Now together, they offer a robust picture of what the research says. Speaking of top-notch reviews, we can't ignore the Cochrane Group. Cochrane is renowned for producing high-quality, up-to-date systematic reviews. Their meticulous approach ensures their reviews are comprehensive, reliable, and free from bias. Cochrane's commitment to keeping their reviews current is invaluable in the fast-evolving field of Clear aligners. Whenever you see a Cochrane review, you can trust it's one of the best sources out there. Now let's talk about what to look for when reading these articles, because not all that glitters is a gold, if you know what I mean. First, check the sample size. Bigger is usually better. Not true. Because it means the results are more reliable. A study with at least 30 participants is generally more credible. A small sample size might not give you the best picture, the full picture. Now next, be on the lookout for bias. This can sneak in through study design, participant selection, or the author's own expectations. Always ask, hmm, who founded this study? If a study is sponsored by a company, the results might favor their product. Are you surprised? Now, it doesn't mean that the study is bad, but it's something to be aware of. Conflicts of, of interest are another red flag. If researchers have ties to the industry or the product they're studying, 
take their findings with a grain of salt. Also be careful with percentages. For instance, a 25% improvement in tooth movement over three months sounds great, but if the actual measure is only one millimeter, that's just 0.25 millimeter, barely clinically significant. Always consider what is clinically significant versus what is significant in a controlled lab environment. There is a big difference between laboratory and clinical environments. In the lab, everything is controlled, no saliva, no contamination, perfect vision. But in a clinical setting, we deal with real world challenges. Studies on attachments and the forces needed for movement might show ideal results in a lab, but we need to adapt those findings to our reality in practice. Finally, ensure the article is peer reviewed. Articles in peer reviewed journals have been vetted by other experts, which generally means higher quality and reliability. Now using these tips and knowing what to watch for, each month we'll dissect a new exciting study in the world of clear aligners, saving you time and helping you stay ahead. Now let's break down the different parts of a scientific article, starting with the abstract. Now, Let's be honest, the abstract is usually the only thing people read and sometimes just the conclusion of the abstract. But it's a good starting point and it summarizes the key findings of the study. Next is the introduction. This section sets the stage by explaining the background of the study and why it's important. It should grab your interest and explain what the research aims to accomplish. Then we have the materials and methods section. This part details how the study was conducted. It's, it's crucial because it tells you if the study design is sound and if the results are reliable. Following that is the results section where the findings are presented. Now pay attention to the data here, but remember numbers can be misleading without context. Next is the discussion section. This is where the authors interpret their results, discuss their significance and compare them with previous studies. It's essential for understanding the broader implications of the findings. And finally, the conclusion. This is where the authors summarize their findings and suggest future research directions. Sometimes people only read this part, but by then you might miss the nuances discussed earlier in the article. Usually the conclusion is also where you'll see if there's a declared conflict of interest or if the study is sponsored. Always keep your eye out for this as it can influence the results. Now you might wonder why we decided to do these monthly reviews. Now we know you're busy with your practice and don't always have the time to read and stay up to date. And this is what we do at the Clear Institute. We are committed to keeping you informed with the latest and most relevant information. It's our engagement towards our members and those who choose the Clear Institute as their education partner. Also be cautious when reps and salespeople present us with facts. You might hear claims like, our product is better. Now always ask, compared to what? And request independent studies. I once heard uh, something incredible on stage. I mean, it was, in 10 million cases of clear aligners, there has never been a single case of root resorption. What? I mean, really? How can you say something like that? Come to my office. I will show you some. But you'd be surprised how many of these claims we hear. With social media, it gets even worse. So you need to know the difference between what is an opinion and what is a scientific fact. What is evidence-based and what is a clinical preference or opinion? Not that preferences or opinions are not good. We all have our preferences and ways to do things that work well for us. If there was only one way to do things, we'd all use the same instruments, materials, and protocols. But when you hear or say something to a colleague or a peer, always clarify, is it an opinion or a scientific fact? Now let's highlight some of our favorite reference journals. First up, the Angle Orthodontist. Known for publishing high-quality, peer-reviewed articles covering a broad spectrum of orthodontic research and clinical practice, this 
journal is available for free online. It's an open access journal and it's one of our favorite. You can see there more and more articles on clear aligners. Next, of course, the American Journal of Orthodontics and Dental Facial Orthopedics, AJODO. This prestigious journal offers detailed studies on both clinical and experimental orthodontics and it's the official journal of the American Association of Orthodontics, AAO. Now the Journal of Clinical Orthodontics, the JCO, focuses on practical aspects, providing useful insights and techniques for daily practice. This is where in the July 2016 edition, I read uh, the editorial from the uh, editor at the time was uh, Robert Kine saying that everything can be done with clear aligners. And this is when I knew I was not crazy. The European Journal of Orthodontics offers a valuable European perspective on orthodontic research and practices. Another excellent one. Now for clear aligner enthusiasts, I know some of you are out there. The Journal of Aligner Orthodontics is a must read, highlighting research and clinical developments specific to aligners. And we know it's really going fast right now in that area. So staying up to date with reliable scientific literature is important. Now, Progress in Orthodontics is the official journal of the Italian Associ Association of Orthodontics. And it's an open access journal and it's gaining respect for advancing the field through high quality research. Again, available online for free. Let's not forget seminars in orthodontics. Now this one I like because uh, in every issue they have a, a theme and all the articles are, are on related to that theme. Uh, they, they publish comprehensive review articles and in detailed case studies providing deep insight into specific, specific topics. And of course, last but not least, let's not forget the Kevin O'Brien orthodontic blog. It's an informal yet insightful read, breaking down complex studies into practical advice. Uh, Dr. O'Brien's work has been a big inspiration uh, to us here at the Clear Institute, even though he doesn't really like clear aligners. But that's okay because what I like is he's always open to discussion. He just wants to see the good studies and he's, he's one I learned from on, on how to determine if a scientific article is a good one. So go ahead and follow him. And if you don't know about it, PubMed is an invaluable tool for finding credible peer-reviewed articles across a vast array of medical disciplines. If you're searching on a subject, you want to have uh, articles talking about the subjects, you just go on PubMed and you will have I think everything that's been written in the scientific world on that subject. Now it's going to be for you to determine are these articles credible. Again, stay till the end because we're going to provide you with a tool to help you with that. So there you have it, a guide to understanding scientific articles and ensuring they're credible. Now each month we'll dive into a new study in the clear aligner world, saving you time and helping you stay ahead. Now, I know you're busy with your practice and staying up to date with the latest research can be tough. That's why we've created this series to do the heavy lifting for you. We are dedicated to helping you stay informed with the best and most relevant information. Now, before we go, I have a special offer just for you. For a limited time, use the code you will find in the description below to subscribe to our clear membership and get the first 30 days for free. You can cancel anytime and the membership includes access to exclusive content like a monthly Q&A session, monthly webinar, monthly article reviews and much more. At this price, it's a no brainer. I mean, if you're here and you stay till the end, this is for you. And don't forget, you can download our special checklist on how to read or evaluate a scientific article. That's in case you want to do it yourself. It's the same checklist we use for our monthly reviews and it will help you stay sharp and informed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. 
give us the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. And for those watching on the Clear Institute online learning platform, check out the rest of our resources to keep your practice at the cutting edge. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, if you have a, an article you would like us to review, drop them in the comments below. So until next time, have fun reading scientific articles, have fun watching our videos, and have fun making the move. I will see you next time. If you like this video, here are some other videos that might interest you. Also, go take a look at our online learning platform if you want to master these clear aligners.